I did get everything cleaned up and organized. I put a majority of it in the garage. I have a lot of like the 50 centers and one and two dollar books organized. Everything is emptied out of the side office. I got shipping material everywhere. I was using these as hooks for the rack. It was a lot um, farther off of the wall, so it didn't have as much of an angle to it. These ones, you can still like swivel it up and down. So yeah, they sit nice. Hanging out, <laughs> good boy. So let me show you guys what the inside of the house looks like. It's, it's a mess once again. I had it nice and cleaned, but it's a little bit of a mess. So this right here was all cleaned out, but we emptied out the office next door and this was everything that was over there. And then this is all the rest of the stuff I still have to go through and organize. We got Mike Mignola on Superman Adventures, Hawk World number one, a bunch of variants. That's a cool toy variant. So I'm finding a lot of really cool stuff. I just don't really know what I'm gonna price everything at. New Avengers, some Alpha Flight, Gen 13, Sons of Anarchy, The Stream, Ren and Stimpy. So let me show you guys all my different CGC slabs and what I have priced out right now. And you guys will have to comment down below and let me know what you think of my pricing. Cool stuff I found yesterday. I always love that cover. That's issue 35, New Avengers. And then you have the, I think that's the fourth printing bunch of different covers here. That's the second print on Avengers vs. X-Men. Lots of different fun stuff. First appearance of Talisman. This one has the, uh, yeah, the Dynamic Forces. Oh, pretty cool. So lots of fun variants and stuff. Always love that Neil Adams cover. Oh, this one's great too if you're a Michael Turner fan. This entire box right here that I have to price out. This is the S. So you got some Star Wars. Stormwatch, that's a great one right there in a 9-8. Submariner versus Tiger Shark. So lots of cool stuff in here. So I've been trying to price everything pretty fairly. I got best offer on pretty much everything. So you guys will have to comment down below and let me know what you think of my prices. This one's a little high, but some of the books I priced higher than others just because I, I enjoy them more. So I will be throwing some of my personal collection books out there. I put a sticky note, like a post-it note, and then I plan on just putting it inside of the, uh, that's a fun one right there, inside of the garage on the slab wall. 215 for the 96. I feel like the prices are pretty decent. I got a bunch of these Ghost Riders too. A couple different ones. It's always hard to like price these because I have a 4.0 and then a 4.5 and then a 6.0 Batman. 160, 9.8, 115. Inside of this one, I think it's all the like Venoms and stuff, yeah. These are some of my favorite covers. I love this one right here, the Remarked. Got it for 250, it came back at 9.4, but if we don't sell it, it's not the end of the world. First appearance of Null. I got a couple 9.8s on the first print, and then this one right here is great. The 9.8 on the Molina variant, that's a cool one too. The Crane, I think that's a one in 100. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the room is looking way different. <laughs> I guess you could say this is part two to the uh, garage sale slash swap thing. I don't think it's called a garage sale anymore though. We're not gonna be doing it in the garage anymore. So now we're in the air conditioning, gonna bring everything back over here and organize it real nicely. We still have some of the racks to bring over, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it's looking like right now. Change of plans. <laughs> We decided to do it in the side house. So we moved the rack inside, did it a little differently. We'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all set up. Display rack that I purchased off Amazon. This thing was like 60 bucks, but I feel like it does a pretty good job at displaying the books. We're gonna bring those big racks inside, set those up over here, I'm thinking. I got the smaller table over there. And look at all this space. Yeah, we got lots of room now. So we're excited to set up. And we have, you know, the AC, we have the fridge, so we'll be able to put drinks in there for everybody, have some snacks out. It'll definitely be a really great time. And then inside this room looks a lot different. This is where I had my black cases. Here's my like editing computer and everything. You know, the show purpose. So you want to leave the shelves in that room? Yeah. And like, let's put inventory that's not for the show on the shelves. I can move everything out of that corner and put some stuff in there. And then this yeah, corner is pretty empty too. too. Let's go ahead and go grab some Funko Pops. Let's see how they look on that shelf and kind of decorate that a little bit. And then we'll get some more of those white tables and then we'll move some stuff around and we could put some on there and kind of see how it'll look. We still got a bunch of stuff out here. Yeah, we had a huge fire yesterday and burned a bunch of furniture, but there's still some furniture left and like tubs and stuff. So. 
All right, so let's show you what the garage looks like. It's pretty much a mess right now ever since we kind of switched everything around. I was messing around making like a smaller little rack with some of the leftover wood. I think what I'm gonna do though is use this as like a sign for the front yard or something. Oh yeah, there you go, making it do a sign. In. Yeah. These are some of those like miscellaneous things we have. Like, you know, we have like some hats, some mystery boxes These in here. sets are pretty cool though. Like, yeah, these are cool, the there. mystery boxes. Yeah. We just still have to like look up prices and I think we're just gonna do like those post-it notes, those tough post-it notes on here. Yeah. Um, because they're easy to peel off and it won't mess up the box. There we go. Oh, there we go, Funko Pops. We still have a lot of the bigger Funko Pops left. Um, I don't know all the sizes, but I'd say like those medium Funko Pops. And then we do have some of the duo sets in here. So these are all the things that we're gonna be putting out for the show. We got some Thanos, a lot of Avengers. Yeah, I feel like those will look cool in the house yeah. also. The War vs. Thanos. Thinking of just bringing this inside, and we'll use this one for now. I still have all those other books on the other rack. Yeah, I think we'll use these racks though in that um, other room for our inventory and things that you know we get in or we need to organize still before we put it out into the main room. Okay, so they actually do fit in here nicely. I think you might even be able to fit some small ones. In oh yeah, maybe on the side. Oh, oh look cool. at that. Stack them up just like oh, that. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna put all the duplicates in the same box. So we're gonna keep the rack over in this corner over here and then we're gonna put um, boxes that we still need to organize and go through. We're gonna put them in here so they can kind of be out of the way and then we can also easily access them. And it's tiered up, you know, so it takes up less room than having them all sprawled out on the floor. This corner right here and maybe some of these books under here. Angelo had like the computer and the printer over there, but we're gonna go ahead and empty that out and put it back in the other room so that we can have more space over here because I'd really like to keep all the Funko Pops together. Then we'll have our little Funko Pop and toy section. So now we can actually like spread out all the Funko Pops and all the toys so it'll look a lot nicer to I not so crammed together, which will be nice. I don't even know what I'm gonna throw on here the day of the sale, but we'll show you guys what it looks like. I think this is the X-Men. We have these big racks over here, two inch or like an inch and a half spacing, and then down here, is the regular racks for the raw books. Line everything up like that. So we're gonna have all the raw books on the bottom too and then all the slabs up top. I think I'm gonna leave the plastic on just because it uh, protects it from getting scratches. We got the Umbrella Academy. What do you think so far, sir? I think it looks great. My first Polaris. Yeah, I think it looks really good all set up. I think it was like $150 in material. Yeah, to build the rack. You know, if you have the right inventory, the right books, you can put thousands of dollars worth of books on here. My 9.6 Uncanny. Looks like we're getting to the rest of the Uncannies here. Yeah, it's a good amount of slabs too. You can fit like 24 slabs on here. These right here are the ones I had priced out. So like, this is what it'll look like. There you go, no. Yeah, it ain't shaking, that's good. I mean, someone could, you could kick it, you can, it ain't shaking. Something. Someone knocks into it, and then go nowhere. But that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with everything. It looks really nice in here. Lots of open space still. It'll be interesting to see what it feels like once it's got a room full of people. Like I said, I don't know how many people are gonna show up. We do have the RSVP on our Facebook page. So if you're thinking of making it, make sure you guys hit the link down below for the Facebook page. And yeah, we'll bring you guys back once we get a little more progress going. I am not having a good hair day today, huh? Let me get these earbuds out. Hello everyone. This is so awesome. I love having this stuff emptied out like this. Everything's looking pretty cool right now. It's definitely nowhere near finished. I still would love to maybe paint the walls or at least put something up on the walls. There's about two more weeks before the convention over here. I'm pretty excited also. We have NerdyCon coming up this week, so we're gonna meet a lot of awesome people. That should be a really fun time. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna set everything up. I'll take you guys through my little table set up over here. These aren't the books I'm gonna have up here, obviously, during the sale. I just thought it'd be a cool kind of little display. These things are actually really sturdy. So if you're looking for a uh, like a nice comic book stand, you could also fit slabs in there. So it sits in there really nice. So I put a bunch of these long boxes and short boxes and you can't even really tell they're behind there. I got a bunch of stuff to organize and rebag and board. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to go down below and leave a comment and we'll see you around.